Hi, I'd like to spend just a very short time naming an organic molecule, a branched alkane. What I've done is I've gone ahead and put a line structure up here representing a molecule. And uh, sometimes students look and go, well, the longest carbon chain is naturally along the horizon. So from left to right. So I purposely made this one so that it isn't. After all, these bonds rotate. These carbon atoms are free to go ahead and spin or rotate around. So there's nothing preventing uh, this kind of twisting here, resulting in the longest carbon chain going up. The longest carbon chain here would be seven carbons if you went left to right. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. But if you include that branch that goes up, as you can see from my numbering system, we have eight. So the name of this molecule is going to be based on octane, oct, the prefix for eight. Now on carbon number three, we have a branch. Notice that I didn't start numbering from the left because we need the lowest numbering system possible. So if I number from the right, the branch occurs off of carbon number three. Here's that branch right there. If I were to start numbering on the left, it looks like that branch would happen at what? Carbon number six. So that wouldn't be right. I need to start numbering over here on the top right. Now there is one carbon st sticking off of this. Of course, it's not just a carbon. Carbon needs three bonds for hydrogens here, and then it's fourth to the chain. So it's really a CH3 group. I'm going to call it a carbon, a CH3 group, or as I have down on the board and you've been looking at, a methyl group. A methyl group is a CH3 group attached to this. So the name of this molecule is octane. I put some really strange shape around octane. And then off of carbon number three, we have ourselves a methyl group. The naming here says off of carbon three is a methyl group, and the whole long chain is octane. Three, methyl octane, no space in between the L and the O.